Hi there. So on our way home from Virginia, we stopped at Bentley Pond, Hemlock Hills in Danbury, Connecticut. We rode about seven miles. This place certainly had a good amount of climbing and tech. Would have loved to ride longer, however, a storm rolled in and we needed to cut our ride short. If you've ridden here, especially some of the trails we haven't, let me know what you think of them. According to Trail Forks, the Out of Nowhere Trail is considered a black diamond. It is slightly over a half mile long with 55 feet of climbing and 227 feet of descending. This trail is also yep. recommended to be ridden one way from south to north. The white trail is considered a blue trail, is slightly over a half mile long, with 60 feet of climbing and 86 feet of descending. This trail can be ridden in either direction. Back in. Careful. You got it. Thank you. The Upchuck Trail is considered a black diamond, is about six tenths of a mile long, and has about 312 feet of either climbing or descending, um, depending on which way you go. Ooh. We went up and down it. Shit. At least the breeze is cool. I think there's a storm coming. The Ledges Trail is also considered a black diamond. It's about six tenths of a mile long and can be ridden in either direction. Has about 80 to 90 feet of climbing and descending. Head back. I don't know how much we got left of video. Not orange. Trying to get back to the car before the storm hits. I can hear the pretty good thunder. There are a few historical spots of interest at the Bennett Pond Pine Hill area. First, the Fox Hill Insight. This was a famous restaurant from the 1940s to the 1970s. In the 1970s, 
This site was bought by IBM for a possible corporate site. However, that didn't pan out, and it was sold in 1998 to Eureka, a developing company. Currently, this site is now part of Bennett's Pond open space, where the house stood is now a clearing overlooking miles of hillsides. And look, we're going down, down. Another historical site is Charles Ives Chinley. Charles Ives was a nature lover who, in 1903, along with his brother Moss, built a retreat on top of Pine Mountain in Ridgefield. Charles would often camp there and write music. I don't hear the thunder anymore. Feels in the rain though. The battery of the camera died just as we hit the end of the trail, just as the rain started pouring down on us. Um, made it back to the car, soaking wet. This place was definitely fun. Would love to go back. Just wish it wasn't so far away from Rhode Island. Everything's far from Rhode Island. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button.